Hello YouTube land, Richard here, I'm back at Parsons Cemetery, and I'm always intrigued by these old ones. So, hmm. Died July 22nd, 1872, age 60 years old. Hooper. Wow, died in 1895, born in 1821, so we're talking about 127 years ago, I think. 1902. It's really the construction of these tombstones are very interesting let me see 1905 for this one Lafayette P Humphreys now I did another video and you know I mentioned Humphrey he had a big uh, thing and I believe I wound up reading online that I believe he was like a US senator or something hmm now, we got a couple more old ones here. I was just looking at how clean this lady here, or what is that? Eliza Ellen Fowler, wife of Mitchell Wallace Travers. wonder if he's still alive. I don't see a date there. Died in 1896. Wow. Now, somebody had to clean this one up. It's in too good of a shape. And born in December 15th, it's uh, George E. Ingersoll. Now, I know there's a company out there called Ingersoll Rand. I I'm wondering if they're related. Um, anyway, he died in 1908, it looks like. Wow, a lot of detail. These things were no doubt carved by hand, which is pretty amazing for the time. What's this? And what is this one? Let me see if I can see it with the camera. Died. Wow, what is that? That might be. Is that possible? Died. I don't know if that's a 16 or. or an 1808. I'm not sure. Died at 32. Wow. It's too young. Oh, wait a minute. There's something on top. Let's see if we can see what that says. Let me see if I can read it with the naked eye. And I can't really make it out, but it's so old, I guess erosion. Now I want to go over to this one I found over here. This was a guy born in England and anyway he, he seems to have a very storied life but long story short I believe I read that you know he became very wealthy. He lived in the Salisbury area. He was supposedly a very generous man. At some point, I think he moved out to Colorado where he died for his health reasons. And I noticed his wife died in New Jersey. But he actually had ships that laid telegraph cable. So 
I, I think that was a pretty interesting nailer and let me see yeah, it looks like he was born January 17th 1830 and died in 99 so I guess he was around 69 and his wife died in 1914 and I believe I read a write-up on this guy somewhere. And I think that these stones were actually shipped from Colorado where he died. Pretty interesting. And it's a pretty majestic tombstone. Is there a date on the other side of this? I don't know. I don't really want to walk on anybody's grave. But anyway, let's go down here. I want to see what that one is. Yeah, a lot of these people lived a long time ago. Here's the one that died in... 1899 Charles McMakin you gotta wonder I get you know like I'm always fascinated you know with these elaborate stones you know for that going way back in time you know either tombstones were very cheap or these people were wealthy now uh, William H rounds born 1838 died September 17th wow we're almost having an anniversary well he died in 1922 so I guess in a few more days I think we're around September 7th 7 today so I think in like another 10 days this gentleman will have been dead like a hundred years and I'm noticing that, I'm noticing, I'm sorry, I wonder if I was off focus, apologize if I was. Anyway, it looks like he was, yeah. Well, wait a minute. Oh, that's his, uh, that's his wife. She died in 1916. He outlived her, I guess. Wow. That's something. Yeah, he died in 1922. So in 10 days, this guy will have been dead for a hundred years now look at the you know the stone is dirty but that's just pretty amazing the quality and you know it's very readable and uh, very intriguing anyway peace out beat Tune in, hit that like button, subscribe, more coming. Peace out.